Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the GTA 300% run. Today we're going to be doing the Portland Vigilante. Now there's a trick to this game which makes this so much easier than it would have normally been. All you do, guys, I'll show you in a minute. You've got to get within a certain range though. Um, but it's a trick I remember seeing on speedruns and I was like, oh, that's probably PC only. Because let's face it, PC have every advantage in the world in every game ever. But no, the trick applies to both. If you get close enough, we're in sight, just pause it, turn pause off, and for some reason the pedestrian gets out. I'll never really understand why, and it's just a case of running them over. I've got a shotgun actually, if I get out, am I given time to get back in? Yeah, that's worth grabbing. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's not easy guys. Like I said, the police wanted level is the main issue. If I run people over, um, it will slowly damage my car, but you don't have to do 20 in a row, you just have to do 20 in each island, like the firefighting missions. Uh, I don't know why that is the case on this game, but it just is. So you want to give enough room as well to avoid slowing down too much. That's unlucky. A fucking van in the way. Nah, yeah, whatever, I'll just easy this guy. So once I went level, there was a bribe over here though. Got that. But yeah, well it's not often to do 20 in a row guys. I'm pretty sure, uh, well I don't know. Maybe like, if it's the case on other GTAs, every five that you do you get an extra bonus. I'm not sure if this applies on this game. This one's only got a bat. Unlucky. Yeah, like I'll say, like uh, uh, on the firefighter Portland missions as well, it's probably beneficial to get them all out of the way early anyway. Um, certainly before you start stalling, because the way to track it, if you haven't done 20, um, is basically to uh, look at the stats and obviously, oh, that's a Patriot. No, I don't need a Patriot to be fair. I mean, I needed one for import X4, but. Fuck you do. Yeah, I need to do one for import X4, but um the, the of course we could just start Patriot Playground mission and then cancel it. Is that a stinker? Nice. Yes. So I mean like the firefighter missions where I was mistaken, uh you can get vehicles spawn here that normally wouldn't spawn in Portland or that are quite rare if you're lucky. So we're going to be on the lookout for a bus, a coach, a flatbed, and uh, I, Mr. Whoopi. We did find a Mr. Whoopi on firefighting missions. Got out, grabbed it after about 14 fires. So we have to go back and do some more. Um, <clears throat> then I, I was theorizing that I had to do the mission Van Heist by Joey before he unlocked the import export list. I don't think that's true. I'm still not entirely sure, but I think it's actually available from the off. So. We missed a trick there, unfortunately. We, we could have taken that Mr. Whoopi back without having to fail a mission ice cream, you scream. Because that's normally the only way to do it. Or the best way to do it, alternatively. You get given a Mr. Whoopi in that mission, so normally I'll just quit that mission. Intentionally fail it. And drop that off for export. Oh, there's a Trash Master. Right, we need one of them. I don't know where the Trash Master spawns, but I'm going to end this and take it for import export, I think. Pretty sure that is needed. If we can get this guy out, what the fuck's going on here? Get out, lad. Bro, the one vehicle I want, and he won't get out of it, I don't want to have to drive by it. Oh, there we go. So the range can be a bit inconsistent, I suppose. And even then, we're giving a minute. To be fair, no. There's not a chance of dropping this off in a minute and getting back to a police car. And even then, my timer will be down. Why the fuck? What? I don't know what I was stuck on then. Like a bumper. But yeah, I mean, I might as well put it there, guys. That's it for the first part of the police missions. I'll have to just edit in the next 13 levels. Because uh, I'm going to drop this trash master off. So, GG. 
So guys, now time to finish the vigilante missions. I had to end after seven last time because I found a it was a trash master. So thirteen to go in Portland. First vehicle, first one is in Trenton. Then cut him across down here. I'll cut across him down here. Mm, he's going the other way, motherfucker. Atlanta Keys is a good road to cut across though guys, as you can see here. He went south, I'll go north route. Well he's getting out anyway, the fuck? Police cars already smoking man, Jesus Christ. I crashed out like once, it shows how bad the vehicles are in this fucking game man. They're so weak. Oh, that's a blister. Right, I need that for import. I might as well grab it now, guys. We are right next to it as well. Yeah, I mean, that was smoking anyway, so another two down there, guys. Let's continue with the vigilante ship for fuck's sake. Alright, our car's already damaged by some motherfucker triad. Why are they outside Chinatown all the time? What are you doing, boys? Stick to your tear. Dabo Stallion. Let's take this down. Not an import export one, sadly. Oh, so you get a bribe for every 10. I just assumed you got two after every 20. So, yeah, halfway through the Portland Vigilante, guys. Lovely stuff. Next one's around Portland View. Give me a nice import export vehicle, please. Just like the blister last time. Oh, to Mr. Whoopi. I mean, I've already got one, so it doesn't matter. That would have been a nice find. I kind of want a boss. You can also stop up on weapons, killing these guys. FYI, boys. Oh, God, don't mind it. Um, I don't really need to. I have an SMG that spawns outside my safe house with like 200 shots in. So, I'm good. But I might get out and get the shotgun ammo. I don't have a shotgun spawning right now. I think I have like a couple of shots from my shotgun. So, what is this? Looks like an Idaho. Just a pistol. Yeah, I think so. Shit, I didn't actually see where this is. It looks like it's Trenton. No, it's not going to tell me. Mm, Callahan points slash Atlanta keys. Fair enough. Oh damn you Esperanto, why are we there? So it looks like he's manana. You gonna get out bro? Fucking hell. Something you have to be really right next to for some reason. There we go. That's a Infernus or a Cheetah, from Luxor. No, it's a Stinger. Don't need a Stinger in this import. You do later on, but by that point in the game, they're, they're pretty commonly available. Oh well. <laughs> I didn't even need that bribe. Lost the police, look straight away. 
Oh, and I got them on me straight away. Lovely. Fuck's sake. Another Patriot. Oh, he's right here. Oh, motherfucker. I thought he was going to carry on then. <laughs> Free me for a loop. Fair enough. Uh, Diablo Stallion. Okay. Not getting such luck with import export. No. Come on, can we do this? We only have four left to do. I want to ideally do it in this police car so we don't have to get another one. Another blister. This one's got a shotgun. I can't allow it to shoot me. Love it. Should have took that road on the left hand. A lot safer. The ammunition road towards Harvard. And indeed, the person's heading that way anyway. Foxy. Oh. Ugh. God damn it. Yeah, what is that? A rancher or a land stalker? I don't need that, I think. Again, that's one for the shoreside veil list, and they are quite readily available as well. Has this guy just got a bath? Stand up. Two left, boys. Let's get this shit done. Tried fish fan. I'm going to have one more crack at getting an import-export. Important. Oh, Trenton. Right, we could have had better RNG there. So, 10 grand bonus, guys. Just done 10 in a row. Lovely stuff. All the same police car, and we got shot to fucking shit at the very start as well. Let's cop this bribe, get this last one. Yeah, it looks like he is going this way. No Diablo Stallion. Alright, fair enough. No more import export from this mission but we do get our 20 vigilante criminals taken down in Portland guys lovely stuff got two police bribes here now